We end with a sweet and tender southern barbecue experience. Steve Hartman serves it up on the road. For barbecue lovers, Brad's Barbecue in Oxford, Alabama is heaven on earth. But 80-year-old Eleanor Baker says her visit here earlier this month was especially divine. I think it was a God thing. I think God sent me there. You think we needed the example? Yes, that people care about other people and how important it is. <laughs> Eleanor is a widow. She lives with her dog, Rufus. And although she has a big family, they mostly live out of town. So Eleanor was alone the night she went to Brad's barbecue. Security footage shows her entering there in the purple. And at about that same time, these three young men arrived. They say they were just having a good old time. We was all just sitting there just talking. When Jamario Howard noticed Eleanor. An older woman sitting by herself. Jamario says he hates seeing people eat alone. And I seen that. When most of us see someone eating alone, we feel that way. But our sympathy never solves anything, and Jamario really wanted to fix this. So he got up from his table and sat at hers. He just came up and he said, I saw you sitting over here alone. And he said, do you mind having some company? And she said, go right ahead. And then I introduced myself and she introduced herself. And that's just kind of how it all got started. They all ended up having dinner together. And it was just a really nice, pleasant evening. <laughs> What those 20-somethings did that night speaks volumes about their character. Man. But they say it wasn't entirely altruistic. <laughs> they enjoyed her company as much as she enjoyed right. theirs. Because when we left there, that's all we talked about. When you make that kind of connection with somebody, it's hard to let it go. Like I already feel like we're her grandkids. <laughs> so you got room for these guys in your life? Of course. I'm so glad y'all could make it. They have all vowed to make room for one another. And certainly, if Eleanor's right, that God played any role in this, it may be to remind us of the joy that awaits just outside the bubbles we live in. I used to say when I was younger, and I still say today, like, I'm going to change the world somehow. And I don't know how, because I'm not rich, I'm not famous, and I'm not very smart either, so I can't be the president. But we can show the world that it's all right to be kind, and then before long, maybe the world will be a much better place. <laughs> Amen. Steve Hartman on the road in Oxford, Alabama. That is the CBS Evening News. That was wonderful. I'm Jeff Glore. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.